Good morning and welcome to Planet Craft. Thank you for joining us. And we're really over the moon that we're over a thousand members on our group. So, hey! <laughs> I did do a little kind of cheering dance, but it was more of a limp. <laughs> so, this morning the plan is I'm going to go for a card that we can make in a few parts so that I can do little streams but possibly more of them <laughs> possibly so here we go so uh, it's not going to be sitting for too long if you watch the end of this video Ian has some exciting news that you're going to do for me aren't you Ian? apparently <laughs> <laughs> and he's in charge of comments today okay so um, if you haven't cut your jig already, then watch along and the file is up on the group. If you want to remember the group, please, 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 please answer all the questions and agree to the terms so that we can let you in. Um, we have about seven people pending at the moment, where eight. eight, where they haven't answered all the questions so we can't let them in. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sandra South says morning. Morning. So once you've cut your jig, it doesn't matter what you cut it from, it can be card, it can be mylar, it can be acetate. Um, obviously if you're cutting it from mylar or acetate, it will last longer. But I've just used some scrap card just for today. And into that I've inserted an A6 piece of stamping card. So I'm using the Kanban stamping card. Getting through my stash now. <laughs> uh, Sandra is in and Sarah as well. Okay. Hopefully you can all see okay because we've had a bit of a rejig with the camera. So if there are any problems, throw it in the inner sort it. <laughs> that looks good this morning. Okay, and I'm starting with a set by Just Right Stamps. And this is the multi-step, don't forget, bouquet. If you have any questions at any point, just pop them in the comments. So I'm going to start off with a waterproof ink pad. So I'm using the Finesse by Spectrum Noir pad. And when you start, you want to make sure that your A6 card is into your horizontal position, so across this way. Okay, because this will be the top of your arch. Tracy's joined and asked how you're feeling today. It's still a little painful, but I'm doing okay. So I'm going to do little and often, I think, is going to be the way that we're going to approach it today. Yes. And if you do stick around till the end, there is a surprise for everybody, um, or a thank you for everybody for getting us up to a thousand uh, members in our group. So what I'm doing with my um, outline stamp is I've just positioned it so that we have it vertical. We try to line it up to our centre mark as much as possible. And then we can bring down our stamp platform cover. Got it the right way around today. Yeah, I've got it the right way around today. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to twist it around so that you can see me inking as well. Same with trying to ink mid air. So what I'll do is I'll do all my outline stamping for this one, and I'm going to set it to one side to dry while we move on to the next one. So I have four pieces in total already. Yeah. Thank you, Tracy. It's a thousand. It's growing. I mean, there's I think we're up to a thousand and seven, and there's eight people waiting to join the group as well. So we just need people to uh, answer all the questions and tick the agree to the terms and conditions in the group. Because um, if they don't agree to the terms, we don't let them in. Because uh. <laughs> you're mean like that. <laughs> what do you mean? They're not exactly strict. Are they? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so once you've done your first set of stamping, we're going to remove our magnets to one side. And depending on the size of your stamp, We'll change where you're going to head next, but I've got quite big stamps, so I'm going to do a full 45 degree turn. We need to turn off the notifications on your phone. 
So what I'm going to do next, so I'm just going to check where that's going to come to. And because it's going to overlap very quickly, I'm going to do... Well, there's, a, there's no quick way to turn your notifications off, is there? Mm, not unless you put it on Do Not Disturb. <laughs> they're also going, they're also upside down, yes, yeah, because I flip the camera around so it's right the right the right way. So you see it the right way naturally. And I've just noticed the notifications come up and went, oh, <laughs> 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 I forgot to put it on Do Not Disturb. So, so I apologise for the notifications every now and then popping up. <laughs> Morning Pete, I hope you're well. Hello Pete. Hi Pete. So I'm just doing myself a quick mask. I might need to re-ink but we'll see how we go. Yeah, I'm going to need to re-ink that. So the tape that I'm using is just post-it note tape. Um, I think we got this roll from Tiger of all places. But I'm sure you can manage to get something similar online. Mm. I could do online, don't I? Um, not for buying, I don't think, unless they've changed that. Mm, there you go. So I'm just going to peel it off them very quickly. Scissors. I knew there was something I hadn't picked up. How many desks on should we pick there? Over just ah, so down high you are. Thank you, partner. I know, I left you some on there. <laughs> <laughs> Beats this morning with hugs. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim very loosely around the inside of my line so that we don't get a, a halo effect. It's a bit different for this one because it's a bit arty anyway, so it doesn't really matter. If you're doing like a character sample or something like okay. that, you want to make sure you go inside. Pete says he's tired but coping long. <laughs> <laughs> no, that feeling. <laughs> yeah. My, my uh, brain decided that three o'clock this morning was a good idea to uh, go, oh, we could do this, we could do this, we could do this. Have we got stuff that does that? Yeah. And then I couldn't get back off to sleep there for ages. And thank you, Carol, for the congratulations on the uh, 1,000 members. Yes, I hope it continues to grow. Well, yeah, because then exciting things happen. Yeah. So, I'm just going to rotate that round there. I'm just going to chop that off. I can come back to that bit in a minute if I need to. I may not need to. going to go around inside this petal. I'm going to bring my card back in. magnets. I do wish it would auto uh, scroll on this thing. Place that back on. Now this is going to overstamp this section but I'm not that bothered because I'm only going to use this top little section up here. Okay. Mm, Hayley says good morning. Morning Hayley. So I'm just going to say Ink that back up. And I'm going to go in there. Okay. Now with our little mask that we've not yet cut out, I'm just going to quickly go around that, just so we can cover up that section that's just stamped. And that was quite 
quiet. It says it's lip design. <laughs> I'm concentrating. <laughs> Mum's watching. Don't make her cringe. <laughs> Do we have any questions this morning? So the file is up on the group and I've put it up both in Affinity Format and FCM. I haven't done a Canvas um, desktop version but if you need me to I can do and pop that up. Where did they find it on the group? Is it in files? Is yep, it's in files and I've also pinned the um, FCM file to the top of the group as well. Oh, there you come. So, I'm sure you can all find Buy Me a Coffee if you want to. <laughs> okay. So. We're just under Buy Me a Coffee isn't it because it pins it? No I pinned it to the top so it replaces Buy Me a Coffee. Ah uh, there we go. Okay let's just check to see how that's working Stamp's doing a marvellous job of sticking there okay I think I'm happy with that so that can just be inked and stamped I do is peel off my mask. And that one too. Camera says so just watching at the moment, she's expecting a new taps within this video hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> is that for the kitchen or for the jacuzzi? <laughs> <laughs> on there too long I'm just going to quickly clean off my stamp because I only ever use water on my stamp so we don't want it to dry on there too much you are using waterproof ink <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it will it will stain your stamps unfortunately but uh, as long as you get most of it off and then it says congratulations and we deserve it for our 1,000 members. I'll wait till you hear the news. Let's do taps for the jacuzzi. Right, be round with my swimming cosy then. <laughs> Who thinks I'm kidding? I've got it lined up ready. <laughs> I don't think you hear this means I've got to drive either. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to set that to, to one side to uh, dry off for a bit rather than bothering to heat set it. And I'm going to change my stamps to some honeydew flowers. You just want to explain a little bit about the jig and its purpose? And... Okay, so the jig is there so that we can get a consistent turn. You'll notice it more so with um, symmetrical stamps. So when you see this one go on in a minute, you'll see what I mean. Oh. Mixed up. So basically you can do as many big turns or little turns as you wish which is so as you rotate it round basically it stamps in a different position on your card. A bit like your star one that you did. Yes yeah. exactly like the star one just it's got more points, points. for this star um, but because it's a, a smaller an unusual size I wanted, actually I think that might be a bit big, that's going to be a bit overpowering, let's go small, let's go small. Yeah we're going to do like three different sizes but just looking at that and I'm thinking that's going to swamp it. Girl's prerogative to change your mind. <laughs> 
So again, I'll put it back to our centre position. Gonna line up my stamp so I can get it as central as possible. That sounds like a brilliant idea. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see uh, it's a uh, sister that I came up with at three o'clock this morning. And that's for doing borders. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's gonna be a good one. But that might be a whole string. I don't know. Save that for Monday. Yeah, or it might it might be that we just do a video and we put it in the members only area on the um, website so that people can actually purchase the file as well. We'll have a think about that one. So I've gone back to my waterproof ink again. Let's do that again just because I missed the one bit. Using a stamping platform. Yeah. Okay. So I can start to show you. If I do a little turn, if we had that mast, you'd see that it slowly forms the arch. So as you go around the next one. It goes round again, and the next one goes round again. Where is that hmm? It's next door. It's very annoying. <laughs> so, I'm going to pop some more of our post it note tape in. And again we're going to cut around the inside. But it's very inconsiderate. <laughs> Not music. Yeah. Yeah. I had to work like that on its own yesterday. <laughs> Didn't need music to do that. <laughs> While I'm doing this, do you, do you, do you want to, to say the news? Say the news? Yeah. Um, right, we've been contacted by... Can I say who? Or not? As in... Name of person who gave us a code. No, I'll just leave it as company name. Company name, okay. So, <coughs> a contact from Derwent, shall we say. <laughs> um, who is supporting our group um, and supporting us and helping us support you um, and they've given us a code to be able to use on their website which we're able to give to you um, which will give you 20% off any order and free shipping so which is very kind and the shipping I think is 489 I think 495 495 for our last order, um, so you know, and then you got twenty percent off whatever you order as well, um, and anybody can use this code. Um, it is coming out. We'll put it out in the comments as well as the group. And the website you need to go to is derwentart.com. I will put it in the comments. And the code you need, all in capital letters, is thank you. Then the number two, the number zero a hashtag and then D D R all in capital letters so anybody who wants to use that you are more than welcome to and it's there as a thank you from us as well as a thank you from doing for us helping and uh, supporting their products and all the videos that we've done so anybody who does want to use that I will put it in the comments um, and we'll put it up on the group as well later
that's one of our little thank yous from us to you. Having our 1,000 uh, comments, I'll put it in the comments as well. round and go back into our original slot but use our opposite corner so always use your magnets for this bit because these are sticky and you don't want to risk ruining your work so move your mask Oh, we've got some new people, I think. Three ink. Um, morning, Karen. The um, template is a file that's available on our group. Um, so if you remember the group, it's up at the top of the thing. It's called the was it Star Jig, is it or something you've called it? Um, it's the A6 Arch Jig. There you go, the A6 Arch Jig, um, which is available to download, and you can pop that onto... Um, We've put up the canvas file, haven't we, at the moment? Canvas file? Oh, well, no, not the canvas file. FCM file. We've put up the FCM so you can send it direct to your machine, or we have the Affinity file up there. If you want me to do a canvas desktop file, I can do. And we have Elaine Armour as well, who's her first time watching. So, hello, Elaine, and welcome. So, we were just discussing the bit of blue card that Natalie has at the top. Um, which Natalie's created this morning um, and designed and it's a, a jig that allows you to evenly distribute where you put your um, stamps just by the notches at the top so it gives you an even turn each time you turn the card. Is that yeah. good explanation? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Um, we've also just put up a code for Derwent, um, so if anybody does want to order anything off derwentart.com, the code which I've put with the use code will give you 20% off and free shipping. Uh, if you do want to use that at any time, it's a thank you from us to everybody for getting us up to 1,000 members in our group. Well, over 1,000 over 1, members. members now, yes. Um, and if you do want to join the group, please go and have a look at Scan and Cut. And papercraft um, courses, classes, workshops by Planner Craft. By Planner Craft, there you go. It's a long title. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you and do if we ever to, get it in the right order, it's a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you do ask to join, please, please, please answer all the questions and just tick the box at the bottom that says you agree to the terms and conditions. Um, and then we can let you straight in. Okay. So at this point, we're going to go back to our centre position. I'm going to leave my mask in place for now because I just want to see where this is going to rotate uh, to. Lace is what a great idea. It could be used for making reefs. Yep, absolutely. Because yep. um, it gives you that. The reason that it's a half one, I, I've actually got some full ones that I did, but the reason it's a half one is because I'm using a rectangle rather than a square today. And it allows you to do arches better than it does the full. Yeah. Yeah. So if if you're not using square, you you kind of need the half rather than the full thing. And then borders, we have a totally different jig altogether. Yeah. This time I'm going to go in that way, I think. Yep, that's working good. So I can ink that up. Just 
using my magnets again just to hold it into place. If you do any, have any questions, Elaine, please do ask. Um, we don't mind. Or if anybody has any questions, um, we don't mind. We'll answer any questions we can. Uh, if we can't answer them in the stream, we will answer them uh, afterwards in the group or in a private message. We do our best to answer. Okay, so I'm going to go around to the next notch. So this is where all your little notches come into play. So the smaller the stamps, the smaller the turn you can make. Um, could you use it on DL card blank? Any card, isn't it really? That um, as long as it fits within you. Yeah, you can resize it to a DL because DL is slightly thinner than um, A6. Yeah, so but as long yeah, as you've you got your. You can your... resize it and. We don't mind. So as long as you labelled it, I suppose, and it wouldn't get confused with each one, you'd be able to yeah. resize it up and down depending on what size you wanted it. <laughs> Can you make the blue thing on the scanning code? Yes, we've set the file up on uh, the group as an FCM file, so you can send that direct to your machine, yeah. um, which will cut it out at the same size that we've got it on here at the moment, which is an A6 one. And if you do want to resize it, you can. We're not gonna... The other thing is, if you have a smaller stamp platform, you may want to use a smaller size of card, just because you need to have the, the room for it to turn. So I know some of them, particularly the well, We Are Memory Keepers one, you'll struggle to get the um, way round. So you'd either have to put it so it, your centre point is somewhere off to one side. Would you like to? You, you, you're going to... Okay, there you go. Just so you can show. So, if you... Could be a We Are Memory Keepers one. You'd put it in so you locate that corner there into that slot, but then your centre would be sort of over there. Okay? So as you turn, you can then stick it out the side, so to speak. There you go. Thank you. That's okay. Just being. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for your flow of creativity there. Yeah, it did there. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to line this back up into this point. I want to try and get That's it as okay. close to as possible. So you see, even on this one, it's running close. So I'm going to use a couple of magnets just to grip that where I want it to. Yeah. Um, with then, making the jig, um, if you cut it out of something like Mylar or Acetate rather than card, it will last longer. Um, it will last a lot longer. And you can clean it. And clean it, yes, if you get it mucky. Um, we only cut it our card this morning for speed, didn't we? Yeah. Just to. Uh, and we are trying to get hold of some Mylar so we can show you um, stencil cutting as well. Yes, but we can't get any at the moment, so we are trying. And they're out of stock. So. They'll have to stock at our usual suppliers. Yes. We are trying. As soon as it comes back in, we should order some more and we should get some. But yes, so measure first, yes, so check it off it into your... Yeah. Yeah, so the, the jig at the moment is um, eight and a half inches wide. I'm trying to get this the right way around. I'm just going to wing it. It's probably not quite right there, but I can always move it for the next one. On there. <laughs> I can see you recreating this for all sorts of stuff, <laughs> cards and stuff, and putting it out on the group. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think the original one I did it for was 4x4, four four, wasn't it? I started off with a 4, four inch by 4 inch square. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not it, that one. Have you heard of the website Inspiration Hut? No. There you are. No, I've not heard of that one, Tracy. Uh, I'm going to go back to centre. <coughs> Excuse me. And just for a minute, pop that over there. Now, this could be interesting. Brave. It's good to be brave. Yeah, I think I just got a splinter. Goodness knows how. Hmm. Hmm. Sorted. You got it out of you. Yeah. Hate splinters. I'm going to pop me mask back on. Take a look when you have time, I've just found it, it's great. Okay, we'll have a look later. Okay, I'm just going to pick it round one notch. Now, at this point, if you have um, a stamp set where your leaves face in opposite directions, I recommend that you flick over to that one. But this one's going to literally arch around in one direction. <laughs> no. I'm just going to line that up. So your platform's the Tim Holtz one, isn't it? Yes. And it's the full size one, it's not the travel one. Hmm. Next one's going to need a mask. Apologies for the uh, notifications just popping up there. I'm going to turn off notifications on Facebook on your phone. Well, people should realise when I'm streaming. <laughs> Surprised you're not watching, actually, because it's Trish. And Trish normally watches are. Yeah, how are people doing with notifications today? Did it all come through on time today? I know Carol said it did. I'm uh, just wondering. This last one's going to be fun. So I'm just going to line it up into that point there. They've been having problems during the week that they've been coming out five minutes like after it started rather than when we actually start. Removed. 
Right. Quickly wipe off my stamp. I'm going to go back to my original card. Yes, it's going through. Okay, cool. Thank you, Karen. I'm surprised we haven't had the question of what do you do if you haven't got an electronic cutter to cut the jig. So I'm just going to go into my you sponsor. Answer your own question? No! No. <laughs> no, the easy answer to that is print it out. <laughs> just going to pop that back into the centre. And Sarah had a notification as well, but Karen says it's not just you though, I think everyone is experiencing this. That's all right. Okay, I'm going to start with the centre sections first. So looking at that, I've got a tiny, tiny one. And although I've popped this back in the jig, I'll probably just stamp this just for speed, to be honest. Rather than trying to be clever. Okay. And this time I'm going to bring in a watercolour palette. So I have an ink sense palette. Well used. <laughs> I'm just going to grab my usual watercolour brush. Back up the top. Uh, hiding. Uh, grab some water. Is there some still in there? Yep. Yeah. Oh, sorry then. Hasn't evaporated away yet. And I'm just going to go into my heavy colour. I'm going to drop that straight onto my stamp and I may just want to add a little bit more to that just to make it a bit more every time okay so I'm going to literally drop that straight on and that's why we use water resistant ink And if you find that there's a bit that's just not picking up enough, just paint a bit more. Watercolour painting using a stamp paddle. Yep. <laughs> and why not? Oh, yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay. Next, we want our next size up. This is we're not planning to be perfect. I'm just dropping a little bit of the purple just so it proves me upon me a little bit. Okay. What's your timing? Hmm? I'm doing okay. Yeah, no. So this is speed watercolour. <laughs> I might do it by hand actually because the stamps aren't quite right for what I want. So I'm just going to go straight to my foot. I'm going to drop in areas of colour. 
Okay. Then and quickly wipe my brush off, a bit of water back on it, and I'm just going to pull that colour down. Okay, give it another wipe, back into our red. And if you need to, just go back in and just a little bit more colour. get back to my water and then that through. And we can do some of the other rows. Remember not all this is going to be visible. So I already have lined it up in um, canvas some A6 backgrounds and some label shapes. So in the break between now and the next section you can either create if you're feeling particularly brave or you can download some background textures that we can use. The ones I'm using um, will be from um, Birds Cards. I'm raiding my archives back from right back from when I first started with the scanning cut. It's interesting going back. <laughs> Does that one for me to print? No, it's a it's a cut one. All right, okay. So we're going to be cutting, and there's going to be a little bit of drawing or foiling. So depending on what you have access to. I'm going to go back into my flower design and reasonably quickly I'm going to drop in some different colours. So with this one I'm going to go more orangey yellow I think. I'm going to use a bit of the orange, a bit of the yellow. This is Ink Tense palette number one by the way because there are actually two. Do you have number two now? No. Don't get ideas. <laughs> no, you saw which one I put in the basket to test the comb. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in, meet with the colour. And don't forget the good thing about ink tents is it's permanent when it's dry. So don't let it dry too much if you want to blend it. But you can actually start to build layers on top. So if you want to do some funky going outside the lines, you can do, and then go back in after with another shade. I'm going to go slightly different colour on this one, I think. I'm going to go slightly lighter. So I'm going to go in with some yellow. towards the centre of our flower arch because obviously the ones in the centre because we stamp them first are the foremost flower. Okay, go back into our yellow and pick up a little bit of our orange just to start blending it back through the colours. So she loves watching you watercolour, it's relaxing. <laughs> I love watercolouring. Do you find it therapeutic? I do, mm. I do. Especially if it's colouring in rather than doing full on watercolour. Mm. It's a bit different if you're painting, uh, uh, painting on your, onto your own steam, so to speak. 
So I'm going back to the orange for this one. And the other thing is you can be a bit more stylistic when you're doing this sort of thing, so you don't have to worry about going out the lines. Whereas I tend to be a bit more of a photorealistic painter, I'm not really that abstract, am I so? I do a lot of um, portrait work, so not really something you can be inaccurate with. <laughs> I'm just mixing a, a slightly muddy light green. Just because we've got that orange. I'm going to do a couple of leaves at a time and then I'm going to pick up some of the dark green and I'm just going to brush it in at the base of our leaf. Okay, give the brush another clean. Pick up a bit of water. Or muddy green. Tracy, she watched the video that you told her about last night. It was very good. I learned my limitations are too many choices. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it's just getting used to setting yourself the limit. So um, we do a lot of challenges in the, the group. Not everybody seems to take part there at the moment, which is a bit sad. But the whole point of the challenges is to set you that limitation. So if you're struggling with your mojo a bit, it does help. Which one did you recommend? Um, embrace the shake. Ah, uh, yes. It's good, that one. The TED Talk. Yeah. But I was saying to Julie, because I was talking to Julie about it, and I was saying when I first came across that video, I was struggling with RSI. Mm -hmm. Wasn't I? Mm. Yeah. yeah, it was a good one. I'm just going to drop in a bit more of that dark green again. Yes. Just get a bit more of that form back. One of the other two ones that's good if you've got too many choices to limit yourself to a certain amount of product, isn't it? Yeah, so like um, five items. Yeah, so you can only use those five items to create a piece of artwork or... Just pop in a bit more green because it's starting to get a bit pale. I might do a few more of those because I like doing those. Yeah. You like me picking five items, don't you? Yeah, you, you're a bit mad on your five items sometimes. So. <laughs> <laughs> if you go on our YouTube channel, there's one with the mount board challenge. Um, well, not mount board, it's um, stamp board, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. You picked. I was like, okay, that was a bit of a random one. So if you go and watch that one, it's purple and orange. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, okay, I'm not quite sure where that one's going to go. It was a good challenge, it was fun. Yeah, don't know where the finished piece is anymore, but... No. Anyway, I'm fiddling. <laughs> right. Stop fiddling then, because you're yeah. running out of time, so... I'll stop fiddling there. Uh, I'll probably complete at least one more off video. Well, everybody's hopefully getting up to that same point. So you can use watercolours or watercolour pencils, the choice is yours. Or any other medium they want to. Yeah, or in if you want to, just colour it in coloured pencil, that is absolutely fine. I was going to do something with coloured pencils next week though. Mm. So. Well, that's it. That's it, so we're back at, are coming back at two? Yep, back at two. Yeah, so we're going to aim to be back at two o'clock today. Um, you've got Lou coming on shortly at twelve, 
and Pete at 12.30 with his giveaway. Um, there's no chocolate baroque today um, at 1.30 with Leslie. Um, she's having technical difficulties apparently, so she won't be uh, broadcasting today. Um, we'll be back at 2 and then Pete at 4 with his card making. And don't forget to use your code if you want to on your derwent.com, derwentart.com, sorry. Um, with the code of thank you 20 hashtag der it is in the comments if uh, you need it you need it um, and please go ahead and use that it will give you 20% off your order and free shipping um, so it is there and uh, if you have any questions or problems please do let us know um, then we'll get that sorted but it does work I've tested it so I know the code works um, and their shipping is very good. We usually get it next couple of days, isn't it? So yeah. they're very good with their shipping. Um, so hopefully we'll see you all later. So stay safe, and we look forward to seeing you at two o'clock. Bye for now. Uh,